Welcome back to Nexus and Music, it's Joseph here and Salazar. And today we're going to be learning about hammer-ons. We're going to learn a little bit about construction, you know, hammers. Important. Architecture. Architecture. Science. <laughs> Alright, be but before we get into today's lesson, as always, make sure to like and subscribe. And also... And click the bell for a notification and our Patreon. Alright. Alright. You make sure you're not looking at the microphone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just looked so right. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good setup. Yeah, yeah, do so, do so. No, but today we're talking about hammer-ons, as we stated already. You know, what what are hammer-ons? What are we talking about here? Obviously, it has a, a little bit to do, well, close to nothing to do with the actual hammer, right? What what are we talking about when we say hammer-ons? Hammer-ons is like a, a, a form of illustration on the guitar, right? So, for example, the, so uh, our previous exercises, right, that we learned with the slides, right? Right? Uh, but instead of just doing a slide, right? we could just go over with the hammer, like a form of hammer, right? So from here, hit it, right? Different than this, right? Or a bend, right? The other one was a bend, right? So, so hammer-on is like basically a, a form of your fingers uh, doing like a hammer-on figure, right? Hammer-on hammer -on <laughs> illustration. So pretty much what you're doing is using your finger, whichever one of the fingers, I know he used the third, third finger, right? I gotta go back and count. But when you're hammering on, it could be any. It could be your second finger, third, and then the pinky. I thought I wasn't gonna do that one. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty much you're pretty much hitting the string with your finger, or you're putting it down suddenly, and that gives it a nice effect. I mean, if we compare it to slides, let's say for example slides. I mean, it has a different sound to it, doesn't it? Correct. Like instead of. <laughs> It gives it like, I don't know, when, when I play those hammer-ons, it's like, it's giving it strength, you know? It's especially in those moments where you want to give it emphasis. I mean, it's it's simple to do it, but I mean, it's it's different, right? Like, it's it's powerful. It's a statement, you know, when you... It, you know, like, for example, the <laughs> intro that we're doing full of hammer-ons in that intro. I, I think that's what we designed it to do, right? That intro, you know? So there's emphasis on those notes that you hammer on. So there's emphasis on those, and that's what's important about these hammer-ons. There's emphasis on that note. But how do we approach those hammer-ons? How do we, you know, practice them, Chang? All right. So, so one of the things that uh, so we, uh, I mentioned or uh, showed last time on the, our slides and bending, check it out on the video. <laughs> so, so basically, you want to work with um, with your skills first, right? So let's say we're on G major scale, right? Uh, right. So you, you want to do it like a practice hammer. -on. So that understanding or understanding where your skills are that's the moment that when, when you when you solo or when you do your, your little improvisation you, you, you can understand where your fingers might go where could go so for example if you, uh, we're playing on G ah. right so it stuff like that like being creative with your stuff so what we just did with the hammer right but uh, so yeah, just understanding your, your your scales. For example, on G, right? 
right? I'm there with my second finger, which you, you could do with your third finger. Fourth finger, right? <laughs> right? Practice those stuff, right? <laughs> he was struggling on that finger. <laughs> he was really thinking about that one. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that's that's a nice exercise to do using both your knowledge on the scales, right? Let's say C scale. Without the gain. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's gas. What a brain fart. So yeah. that's one of the things uh, uh, in scales that I use because a hammer on you can use it on soloing and on, on your chords too. So that's the best thing. So as what we just mentioned, so uh, so there's exercises as well that you could do with your uh, with hammer on. So for the first one, right? You got well. There's uh, if you go back to our exercises that we have on on, on the right. <laughs> so the thing is that there's one that's sort of they're like that, right? Right. So you could do uh, starting from the first fret. You could just start with your fir first finger and hammer. On. Right. And you gotta make a face. You gotta make that face. <laughs> right. But the secret to a hammer on is this. So, so because we're teaching you what's a hammer on, but the secret to a hammer on is this. So first of all, uh, when you when you do a hammer on. It's very important to understand. So let's start with the third fret, right? If you're a beginner, I suggest that you start either on the fifth or third fret because the first fret is kind of like you start to push that finger in, right? So uh, let's start with the fifth fret, right? If this camera can see, right? So if we notice, right? So we got the first finger. So one of the things that you want to uh, have is pretend you're pinching like not too hard, but as as not firm that you could hear, right? You don't want to have on the uh, on the fret. You can't hear anything, right? So you want to have it right here. And when you hammer on, when you hammer on, the thing is that you want to be precise, precise, right? And make sure your finger come <laughs> goes literally on center, right? On center, right? Stuff like that. So you have to be precise on hitting it, right? So and you want to practice that on the other on the other strings. Right? And just or you could just go like that. Right? Like a little, little quickly, like really quickly. And then <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? So yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah, and an, an important thing also to point out, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's it's really important that that note sounds, you know, mm -hmm. that it comes yeah. through. Because if you do your hammer on too weak, it's it's not gonna it's either gonna sound muffled or it's just not gonna be there. Well, it's really hard for me to, to mess it up. <laughs> I don't know how to mess it up, but it's like weak, it doesn't have that emphasis. So you have to give it that, that oomph, <laughs> the oomph, so yeah. that when you hammer on, it's not a muted note, right? So it's a, it's like, it's pretty much as if you were to pick it. It's supposed to sound the same as the same amount of power or volume as per se if not more because the point of a hammer on is to give emphasis so there's people that that when they hammer on it just pushes it more but that's the point you know if your hammer ons are not coming through practice that strength especially when we're talking about the pinky yeah so yeah uh, but one thing i want to show so what he said is emphasize it right so yeah as if you're seeing, uh, there's there's some of you guys that uh, that will think logically how to do it, right? But just to go very detailed on how the hammer on should sound, because there's some people that that will literally just go like, and they can't get it, right? Yeah. So let me teach you something. So so one of the things is to understand when you hit when. All right, let's say, let's say you start with your first finger, right? 
Uh, we start on the first on the fifth fret. So one of the things I want you to understand is this, or, or right. So once you hit, the moment that you hit that first note, make sure it's like it's like a it's like a delay, right? It's like da 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 da, right? What I explain is like da da. Not that I was in the wrong note, right? So you want to hit first and then hammer on. Because people tend to do, like, not think, like, clearly about it. They just go, like, straight through. <laughs> uh, well, I could do it, right? I can't. <laughs> right? So, don't think of a hammer on just going straight through. It's like a little delay. Right? So, just don't go straight through it. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's, it's not either a picking as well. Not that it's like literally you hit it once and then hammer all right yeah so there's that slight delay so uh, another thing you can do is practice that let's say um we got the chromatic right so you know the time it, one two three four mm -hmm. so instead of picking you just hit once and try hammering on the red So you get that timing right. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much as if you were to hit it, but you're hammering on. So so as if you were picking it, but you're not. Mm, okay. <laughs> so that you can practice that delay as well, because sometimes it's not going to be immediate. Although in most cases it is. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you practice? <laughs> Basically, think of it as a metronome, right? Yeah, it's, it's like replacing your pick mm -hmm. for the hammer on. Yeah, which is nice, you know, especially when you're soloing, you might not have that time, or maybe the solo requires that emphasis, so you can replace your picking movement for just a simple hammer on. And many solos, you'll find out, use a lot of hammer ons for that exact reason because okay. you save your picking strength. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all hammer ups, right? But uh, yeah, so that's what we taught in in, in in form of like lead, right? So, but just just to clarify out the way, not necessarily you don't have to put yeah you don't have to start with your first finger. You can start with your second finger and practice, it, right? So one more time. So first finger on second finger, second finger on to third, and then third to fourth. Why? It's necessary because in the end, uh, you want uh, when 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 you get stronger on 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 all four of them. The thing is that you go back, you go back, you, you, then you gonna, then you're gonna start doing chords, right? So one of the things when I when I play chords, I do hammer ons on chords, right? So you hear that? Maybe I'm using my fingers, but not only necessarily my fingers, but you could do very different very varieties in chords, right? So right? And so if you notice, remember what I was teaching you on, on the on the scale? I know it was ridiculous when I was doing my pinky, right? Or my, my pinky. Right? Because in the end, you're going to use my, if you're noticing, I'm using my pinky right here. Yeah. Right? It's very important. So, and it gives you a variation of like, a, just creativity of where, where you could do, where you could go. Right? I'm using my first finger and my pinky. Right there. important to learn to strengthen your pinky and your third well not well your third finger will most likely be natural at it but you know your second and your fourth are the ones that you know they, they might not <laughs> accustomed to it but yeah as he said when you're playing try it you
So when you're playing triads, especially, you'll find the importance of those hammer-ons and the strength you need for that pinky because otherwise if you if your pinky stinks at hammer ons then it's not gonna be able to work for for those triads or for those beautiful chords. Oh, yeah. That video's up there. Yeah. <laughs> the, the beautiful chords video. But yeah, um, it's important to strengthen not only your first and your third at your hammer ons, but as well your second and your fourth. Challenge yourself, yes, you know, with that ridiculous up an exercise that <laughs> looks, you know, with your pinky. Right? But then you're gonna need it later on, like this. Right? Yeah, it's all pinky. The dull stops too. Right? Do it with your pinky, you will. Oh, um, my pinky. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you see there, he strengthened his pinky a lot. So I have a mentality. Right? <laughs> I wanna share just in case to value your pinky. <laughs> Because in the end, we live in a world that we don't know what's gonna happen. It's like a possibility of stuff. You never know if you're gonna if you're gonna lose your fingers. So it's preferably <laughs> right this <to> spot. <laughs> so, so it's a weird mentality. That's why I practice with all my fingers, right? Because in the end, those that play sports or anything, if you catch the baseball wrong and, and they hit you really hard, or you play soccer, or, you know. So you gotta be so extremely careful because if your hand becomes cricket, <laughs> at least you got your pinky. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my mentality. Well, there you go. That's the reason why you must learn the hammer on to your pinky because if you lose it, you lose. <laughs> no, but you know, I think we've covered all the bases yeah. for hammer ons. It's a pretty simple technique, but it could take years to master. Yeah. For some individuals, some individuals will come natural to them. Other, other of you guys, you know, might take a little while to get used to it, especially in those more quick hammer ons where it's a split second hammer on. You know, yeah. it might take a little bit to get accustomed to it, but you guys got it. You guys got it. The more practice, the better. But yeah, I don't know if there's anything else you want to add. Maybe another explanation to why you practice with the pinky. Yeah, just uh, just to have <laughs> practice with your pinky, practice with everything. Yeah, because in the end you can do so much with the with the uh, uh, triads, with triads and all that stuff. So for example, you... right, stuff like that. So just in, to inspire you guys and. But what? Just having fun? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and you know, for a challenge for you guys, I know you guys like challenges all the time. Challenge yourself to play your scales, pentatonics, whatever scales you're practicing currently. Practice <laughs> hammering on. So, it, let's say for example, the pentatonic, right? <laughs> No, but you know, practice your scales with it. <laughs> this, this video is just me and him challenging each other to do it. Like, <laughs> but yeah, practice the practice. You know, converting your scales with the hammer ons, adding that hammer on in there, because eventually you might make up your own lick with, with the hammer ons, or you might stumble on something that you didn't, or you might just make those triads sound more beautiful than they already are. You know, who knows, right? But yeah, you know, I think that's been about it, right? For hammer ons, pretty simple concept. Oh, one more, one more. <laughs> but make sure to go go on and practice them. It's been Joseph here. And Salvador. And see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.